I'm acting in what he said. Because leading in the word of God without acting, there is no way that word can help you. The power is not in leading. The power is in acting that word. Praise God. The power is not in the leading. That's why everyone can lead the Bible. Everyone can preach the words. But it's not everyone can act. There's another work. Preaching. Oh, wow. I, can, I can raise anyone here. can say, stand up, come here and speak the word. You can say, you know, you can read the book of Matthew. Uh, so, uh, uh, Jesus said, you know, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise God, hallelujah. But once in Acts, is another thing. Praise God, hallelujah. Because in Acts is the place, the power of God living. Praise God, hallelujah. Are we together? In act, this is a place the word of God become reality. In act, this is a place the word of God become the real. That's why faith without action is death. Praise God. It's useless. Powerless. Praise God. You find a preacher. Wake up here, praying, uh, uh, preaching here. What is it? Once trouble comes. Wow. <laughs> we see someone become like, uh, <laughs> like ice. Unamona mtu anakuwa kama vile barafu. Praise God, Aliyah. You ask man of God, you are teaching us about to overcome when trouble comes. Why now you are crying? Na muliza mtumishi wa Mungu, ulikuwa unatufundisha kwamba majaribu yanokuja unashinda. Sasa inakuwaje kwako? Why now you are crying? Kwa nini sasa unalia? Praise God. <laughs> yeah, no, because this trial is heavy. Hapana, kwa sababu majaribu ni mazito. Every trial is your size. Kila jaribu ni size yako. What you need Unachuitaji. is to act in the word of God. In what he says. It is finished. So if it is finished, your work Kaziyako. is to celebrate. Nikushadekea. So make your life to be a celebration life. Praise God. Mungu But if you are a Christian, lakini kama wewe ni mkristo, make your life to be a celebration life. Yafanye maisha yako kwa ni maisha ya kusherekea. Like Jesus. Kama vile Yesu, his life, maisha yake was a celebration life. Yeye kwa ni maisha ya kusherekea with all the circumstances. Pamoja na hali zote, pain and trial, maumivu na matatizo. People they speak all the word they speak. Watu walitamka maneno yote waliyosema. But at the end of the day, like the of Siku, he walked in celebration life. It's the only man who knows he was going to die. And then he told people to praise him. To sing Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. And he's going to die. But he will celebrate him. Do you see it? He was going to face the death. But in his way, he told people, don't cry. Celebrate. Because as long as I'm walking in God's word, you celebrate. 
kuwasherekea so many kwa manake us as a christian sisi kama wakristo our life must be a celebration life maisha yetu lazima ni maisha yawe ni maisha ya kusherekea why must be a celebration life kwa nini yawe ni maisha ya kusherekea because he said it's done kwa sababu alisema imekwisha it's like sometimes you can see like you're going to lose wakati mwingine unaweza kuona kama unaenda kupoteza you can receive the letter from your boss unaweza kupokea barua kutoka kwa mkuu wako say the work is over sema kazi imeisha you select your friends you go somewhere you eat burger chicken and everything na mchagua rafiki yako mnaenda mahali fulani mnaenda kula baga na kila kitu it is over from him but it is not over from god imekuwa mwisho kwake lakini sio kwa mungu are you know what i'm saying Praise God hallelujah. Praise God hallelujah. Yes, from your boss it is over. Ndio kwa mkuu wako imekwisha. So go celebrate. Nenda kasherekee. Because you know you belong to Jesus. Kwa sababu unafahamu kwamba wewe ni mali ya Yesu. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asubiri. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So you you, you 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 took the letter. Kwa unaichukua hiyo barua. You invite your friends. Unamwalika rafiki yako. You go somewhere. Nenda mali fulani. Praise hallelujah. You can have some dinner. Naweza kuwa na chakula Yes, Yoni eating there na kula pale chicken burger pizza pizza barbecue there Praise God hallelujah Are we together eating there kula pale and telling your friends na kumwambia rafiki yako You know why I'm happy unajua kwa nini na furaha You know my boss is right the writer that my job is over from Unajua mkuu wangu amenipa barua kwamba kazi yangu imekwisha So I took this chance to celebrate Kwa nimechukua hii nafasi kwa ajili ya kusema Wow how is this bread kind of this thing this is the bad news Unawezaje kusherekea hii ni habari mbaya Say no it's not a bad news Sema hapana sio habari mbaya It's a good news Ni habari njema Because this to me is a bridge to go to my best kwa job Kwa mimi ni daraja la kunipeleka kwenye sehemu iliyo bora zaidi So you take a face now. Kwa inachukua imani sasa. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asubiri. We are seeing it uh, prophet is speak it but to act in Kuna this way. Kwa maana Biblia amesema lakini kuliwekwa kwenye matendo hilo neno. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asubiri. Is another work. Praise God hallelujah. Can you clap a hand to Jesus Christ? Naweza kumpiga Yesu makofi. Why I'm saying this? Because if you're a Christian, you should not live a warrior life. Usishi maisha ya wasiwasi. If you're a Christian meaning you have assurance with your life. Kama ni mkristo maana una uhakika na maisha yako. You have assurance with your life. Una uhakika na maisha yako. Jesus. Yes. When he celebrated. Alipokuwa anasherekea. Why he celebrated? Kwa nini anasherekea? Yes. The seasons was, was telling him you are going to die. Ndio maji alikuwa anamwambia kwamba anaenda kufa and he knew he's going to die. Na alifahamu kwamba anaenda kufa. But because he knows. Lakini kwa sababu alifahamu His father is on, on his side. Kwa sababu baba yake yuko upande wake. He celebrate. Alisherekea. He knew. Alifahamu. I'm not going to lose. Siendi kupoteza. I'm going to lose. Praise Siendi God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Even if I will die. Hata kama nitakufa. I will rise up again. Nitafufuka tena. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. So meaning being a Christian. Kwa maana yake kuwa mkristo. Not losing. Sio kwa jambo kupoteza. Getting being a Christian. Kwa mkristo. Is having a surety with your life. Ni kuwa na uhakika na maisha yako. Having a surety with your life. Na maisha yako. Even if not today, hata kama leo, can be tomorrow. In, in, Because in, in, the Lord whom you believe, kwa sababu Bwana na muamini, is a living God. Ni Mungu anayeishi. He's a great I am that I am. Ni mkuu niko amani. He's an eternal God. Ni Mungu wa milele. He's Alpha and Omega. Ni kwanza na mwisho. And you are a child of the Alpha and the Omega. Na wewe ni mtoto wa So how can you worry about tomorrow? Unawezaje kuwa na wasiwasi? There is no way you can worry about tomorrow. Hakuna namna If you are a child, praise God hallelujah. If you are a child of Alpha and Omega, praise God. You mean yes, Genesis up to Revelation. Manake mwanzo mpaka ufunuo. There is no way you can do what? You can Worry. Hakuna namna unaweza kuwa na wasiwasi. Worry is coming because we don't act. Wasiwasi unakuja kwa sababu hatuliweka kwenye matendo neno. We are busy in reading the Bible. Tunajishughulisha sana kusoma Biblia. But in teaching others na kuwafundisha wengine. And inspiring others na kuwahamasisha wengine. But not in acting. Lakini sio kuliweka kwenye matendo. That's why the word of God is not helping us. Ndio maana neno Mungu alitusaidia. When challenge come. Changamoto inapokuja. He say oh Why this? Nasema, oh, kwa nini? Why this? Kwa nini? Why this? Kwa nini? Now, why Sasa, this? Kwa nini? Praise God. Mungu asubiri. Our word is it will come to pass. Neno letu ni kusema tu kwamba itatimia. It will come to pass. Itatimia. It will come to pass. Itatimia. 
even if you don't see it will come to pass hata kama uone because you are a child of jesus kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wa yesu and you have a sure life your life na una uhakika na maisha yako if you stay a christian having a word of his life ukibona mkristo anakuwa na wasiwasi na maisha yake having word because of job anakuwa na wasiwasi kwa habari ya kazi yake he is not a christian yes you are christo because being a christian kwa sababu kuwa mkristo meaning christ inside of you maana ke christo akiwa ndani yako so if christ is inside of you kama christo yuko ndani yako meaning you have a sure life your life maana ke una uhakika na maisha yako trial cannot tempt you majaribu haiwezi kukushawishi in your life na maisha yako cannot be a life of complaining haiwezi kuwa na maisha ya kulalamika your life can be a life of joy maisha yako hata kwa na maisha ya furaha that's why me every day i see every day i see kila wakati naimba kila siku naimba praise god here mungu asifiwe i sing why i sing ninaimba kwa nini naimba because i know kwa sababu nafahamu being a christian kuwa mkristo is having a sure life with my life ni kuwa na uhakika na maisha yako You are a Christian. Wewe ni mkristo. You are here. Uko hapa. Your life, maisha yako, is a permanent life. Ni maisha ya 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 moja kwa moja. Praise God Hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Una maisha yenye uhakika kuliko mtu yoyote chini ya juu. Why? Kwa nini? Because of accepting Jesus kwa sababu ya kukumbali Yesu to be your lord and savior kwa bwana na mwokozi wako praise god hallelujah mungu asifiwe i'm not happy seeing a christian worry about life sina furaha ninapomwona mkristo anakuwa na wasiwasi na maisha because the bible is telling us kwa sababu biblia inatuambia when jesus hata mapo yesu he was facing the death alipo eh, alipokuwa anaendea mauti he celebrate alisherekea how how you can celebrate death na gani usherekee mauti mimi he knew maana karifao i'm not going to lose siendi kupoteza that's why you may be in trouble ndio maana unaweza kuwa ndani ya tatizo and they, they find you celebrating na unakuona unasherekea because you know kwa sababu unafahamu i'm going to overcome ninaenda kushinda i'm going to come out from this trouble ninaenda kutoka kwenye tatizo i'm going to come from this challenge ninaenda kutoka kwenye changamoto because you have a assurance kwa sababu una uhakika we god whom you save na mungu na you have a assurance una uhakika we say victory na ushindi. you know you are in the side of victory you are not on the side of failure wewe hauko upande wa kushindwa and your life is a assurance life na maisha yako ni maisha ya uhakika praise god hallelujah mungu asifiwe Bible always teaching us Biblia wakati wote inatufundisha even if you fall down hata ukianguka so many manake God knows Mungu anafahamu other human being kama binadamu sometimes we fall down wakati mwingine tunaanguka he said alisema you wewe because you believe my name kwa sababu unaliamini jina you stand up again utasimama tena God knows you know everything that is written in the bible unajua kila kitu andiko kwenye biblia if you believe ukikiamini and act on it na kuweka kwenye matendo you cannot listen to human being voice hauwezi kusikiliza sauti za wanadamu never kamwe because the human being kwa sababu binadamu when you do a mistake ukikosea they will speak a lot of words wataongea maneno mengi but not the word of god lakini sio neno la mungu That's why you must dwell in his word. Ndio maana unatakiwa kukanda na neno la Mungu. To dwell in his word. Kukanda na neno la Mungu. And act in his word. Na kuweka kwenye matendo. It's not only believing. Sio tu kuamini, but in acting in what you believe. Lakini kuweka kwenye matendo kile unachokiamini. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. So when I read say you can fall down. Kwa niposoma niposema unaweza kuanguka. But because you believe in me lakini kwa sababu unaniamini mimi you will stand up again utasimama tena so meaning kwa maana yake in christ katika kristo is a assurance only ni uhakika peke yake of your life wa maisha yako in christ katika kristo is victory only ni ushindi peke yake in your life katika maisha yako in christ katika kristo is joy for only ni furaha peke yake nothing else hakuna kingine zaidi Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Clap our hands to Jesus. Piga Yesu makofi. That's why you, your face must be strong in his word. Ndio maana imani yako lazima iwe imani imara katika neno lake. You will see the victory. Utaona ushindi. 
And God is not happy for the one who give up. Na Mungu hana furaha na mtu anayekata tamaa. He's not in the side of someone who give up. Hayuko upande wa mtu anayekata tamaa. Praise God. Mungu asalodi. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. But God, lakini Mungu is happy. Ana furaha for someone kwa mtu who is facing challenge ambaye anakutana na changamoto. He is crying, analia but he is moving forward. Lakini yuko anasonga mbele. He's moving forward. He's crying but 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 he's moving forward. Praise God, hallelujah. That's why God is saying to Moses, stop crying. Tell my people to go forward. That is the character of God. Hiyo ndio tabia ya Mungu. Stop crying. Acha kulia. And tell my people. Waambie watu wangu. To go forward. Wasonge mbele. Hey Peter again. Narudia tena. Being a Christian, kuwa mkristo is to have assurance with your life. Ni kuwa na uhakika na maisha yako. Praise God Ali. Mungu asalamu. Some of you Badien, there are some problem you have. Kuna baadhi ya matatizo mdayo. It may look like devil. Inaweza kuonekana kama ni shetani, but it's not devil. Lakini sio shetani. You don't know how devil is far from you. Haufahamu ni kwa kiasi gani shetani yuko mbali na wewe. You don't know. Haufahamu. But through your confession. Lakini kupitia ukili wako, you make him to be close to you. Umemfanya shetani kuwa karibu na wewe. Unasikia? Some of you has a problem. Badien ndio maana tatizo. Devil is far from you. Shetani yuko mbali na wewe. Very far from you. Yuko mbali sana. But through saying, lakini kupitia kusema, this problem, ili tatizo. Ah, devil is very bad. Devil. Shetani mbaya, shetani. Say who is calling me? Sema nani ananiita? Because he's living in the spirit. Kwa sababu yeye ni roho anaishi. So the word is the spirit. Kwa neno ni roho. When you mention his name, unapolitaja jina lake, he become close to you. Anakuwa karibu na wewe. Like this. Deo, kama vile Deo. Do sit. Unaweza kuona? He pay attention. Anakaa makini. Are you ready? He heard. Amesikia. So meaning, kwa maana yake, devil is living in the spirit. Shetani ni roho. I say, ah. Yani it is shida hii. This is any shetan mbaya sana. Yaani kanifanyia hivi. Asema, "Hey, hey, hey." Nani 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 sem gani mmevuruga mbona mimi sijavuruga sem yote anakaribia you call his name umeliita jina lake he become close to you anakuwa karibu na wewe praise god mungu asalamu after being close to you baada ya kuwa karibu na wewe he is finding you losing faith in christ anakuta kwamba wewe unapoteza imani katika kristo so analiatamia lile tatizo ambalo hata yeye mwenyewe alikuwa ni sosa lile tatizo lilikuwa ni wewe sosa tatizo analiatamia kwa ana alikoleza munyu unaanza kuruna kwenye kiwango ambacho sasa ni chenyewe praise god hallelujah are you hearing me unasikia because you mention his name kwa sababu umelitaja jina lake listen nisikilize jesus he said one thing yes alisema kitu kimoja he said for those who call upon my name asema kwa wote walitao jina langu they shall be saved watakolewa meaning manake if the the accident kama kuna ajali Jesus ukisema yes is helping you anakusaidia Praise God hallelujah Mungu asifadhili Are you hearing me unasikia Are you hearing me unasikia So many kwa maana yake in your mouth kwenye kinywa chako Sasa kule shetani ni mbaya sana shetani you mention his name we come close to you anakuwa karibu na wewe Umefanya ubaya gani Even if he was far hata kama alikuwa mbali Praise God. Mungu asifiwe. Kokile ambacho hajakifanya na umemsingizia anatakifanya kweli sasa. Praise God. Anakikoleza vizuri. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Unasikia anafanyaje? Vizuri. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because you are a spirit. Kwa sababu wewe ni roho. You are wearing a spirit. Neno lako ni roho. So when you speak, kwa unapotamka, your voice is louder spiritual. Sauti yako ni ya juu sana kiroho. That's what are the child of God. Ndio maana kama mtoto wa Mungu. Paul he guided us. Paul alitupa mwongozo. And I think that kwa Colossae pale tatu. He guided something there. Alitupa mwongozo kitu fulani pale. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Msalaba kwa sababu basi ikiwa mefuliwa 
pamoja na Kristo yatafuteni yaliyo juu Kristo aliko ameketi mkono wa kumi wa Mungu yafikirini yaliyo juu sio yaliyo katika nchi clear was praise God. clear was praise God aliye clear was kabisa for those who believe in what in Christ kwa wale wanaoamini katika Kristo they have assurance wana uhakika of Christianity life wa maisha yake Kristo they have assurance of their life wana uhakika na maisha yao so don't worry kwa si wana wasiwasi praise God aliye mungu asalimu i was uplifting your faith nilikuwa nainua imani yako that's why ndio maana even in this world katika ulimwengu huu there are many words is going on kuna maneno mengi yanaoendelea you know to be a prophet unajua kuwa nabii it is not the easy job sio kazi rahisi are you me unasikia meaning being a prophet maana yake kuwa nabii meaning is a man who walk in battle every day maana yake ni mtu anayetembea kwenye vita kila siku being in danger way na yuko kwenye njia ya hatari from beginning tokea mwanzo remember kumbuka when god pale ambapo mungu he create adam alipomumba adam and eve na eva after them disobeying god baada wao kutukumtii mungu he chased them out akawatoa kwenye from the eden kutoka kwenye bustani ya eden praise god hallelujah mungu asalimu but god gives them charge mungu aliwapa watoto all of them there was a son what are the one but among them lakini katikati yao one was a prophet mmoja alikuwa nabii he died akafa his brother killed nikakaka aliamua do you know it jeu na difamu hili do you see a foundation of prophet unaona msingi wa nabii who died nani aliyekufa abel habili praise god hallelujah mungu asalimu praise god hallelujah mungu asalimu so meaning kwa maana yake sometimes you can seek the that's why there are some other they are prophet but they call themselves a pastor ndio maana wengine ni manabii lakini wanajiita wenyewe wachungaji they run war wanakimbia vita <laughs> they have prophetic calling wanawitu wa kinabii but because of the battle lakini kwa sababu ya vita they say no i am a pastor wanasema hapana mimi ni mchungaji praise god aliye mungu asalimu one of the man he came to me mtu mmoja alikuja kwangu he was ministering like a pastor alikuwa na hudumu kama mchungaji asa you apostle god is telling me nikasema wewe ni mtume mungu ananiambia lakini najisikia mimi vizuri kuhudumu kama mchungaji are you hearing me unasikia najisikia nini kuhudumu kama nini i told him nilimwambia why are you 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 are ministering out of your calling kwa nini unahudumu nje ya wito wako he said ah kwa fukuto hili ai siwezi let me remain a pastor acha mimi nibakia mchungaji are you hearing me say there's no you can succeed because it's not your calling nikamwambia hakuna namna za kufanikiwa kwa sababu huu sio wito wako but if you are in christ lakini ukiwa ndani ya kristo and you believe in christ na unaamini katika kristo you will enjoy battle utafurahia vita Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asalimu. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asalimu. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asalimu. So meaning kwa maana from Genesis tokea mwanzo the first prophet he died. Nabii wa kwanza alikufa. His brother stand against him. Nikakaka aliyesimama kinyume naye. He killed. Akamua. Nabii wa kwanza alikuwa ni Abel. Ambe nani? Abel. Kaina kafanyeje? Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asalimu. So meaning kwa maana if you are prophetic calling ukiwa na wito wa kinabii be ready uwe tayari <laughs> for what for war kwa ajili ya vita be ready uwe tayari for any kind of bad word kwenye kila aina ya maneno mabaya be ready uwe tayari that's why others ndio maana wengine they run wanakimbia why they run kwa nini wanakimbia because the devil said if you you continue to speak the truth sawa anasema shetani anasema kama ukiendelea kuisema kweli i will fight you mpaka dunia uone chungui so say eh eh shetani siwe tabu niambie nifanye nini ah okay uza anointing oil au uza anointing nini yameisha praise god alia <laughs> don't teach people the truth usiwaambie watu kweli praise god alia mungu asalimu are we together tuko pamoja but we overcome lakini tunashinda 
we overcome. Tunashinda. We overcome. Tunashinda. Why I'm saying this? Jesus has said one thing. Yesu alisema kitu kimoja. Matthew. Naweza kwenda kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo 23 sura 23. Start from verse 9 up to 79. Someone can read there. Mmoja anaweza kusoma pale. Ole wenu waandishi na mafarisayo wanafiki kwa kuwa mnayajenga makaburi ya manabii na kuyapamba maziara ya mwenye haki na kusema kama sisi tungaliku wako zamani za baba zetu hatunga alishirikiana nao katika damu ya manabii hivi mwajishuhudia wenyewe ya kwamba ninyi ni wana wao waliowaua manabii jijazeni basi kipimo cha baba zenu enyi nyoka wana wa majoka mtaikimbiaje hukumu ya jehanamu kwa sababu hiyo angalieni mimi natuma kwenu manabii na nani anawatuma naye anayewatuma hapo anasema eh yes naye anayewatuma kwa hakuna manabii naye anayewatuma nabii wa mwisho alikuwa ni yohana eh mbatizaji eh naye anayewatuma hapo anasemaje na watuma nini do you see it naweza okay. kuona mm-hmm. continue tarudia 34 kwa sababu hiyo angalieni mimi natuma kwenu manabii na wenye hekima na waandishi na wengine wao ninyi mtawaua na kuwasulubisha na wengine wao mtawapiga katika masinagogi uh-huh. yenu na kuwafukuza mji kwa mji uh-huh. hivyo ije anafanyaje anafanyaje mtawafukuza okay mji ulisikia kuna kampeni inaendelea kwamba manabii wote Tanzania si wa kweli wafukuzwe it's a prophetic word ni neno la kinabii Isewat. Prophetic word. Prophetic word. Ni neno la kinabii. He said Jesus. Yesu alisema, continue. Hivyo ije juu yenu damu yote ya haki iliyomwagika juu ya nchi, hmm. tangu damu ya Habili yule mwenye haki hata damu ya Zakaria bin Barakia mm-hmm. mliemua kati ya patakatifu na madhabahu. Mm-hmm. Amini na waambieni mambo hayo yote yatakuja juu ya kizazi hiki. Yanafanyaje? So if you are a prophet why you worry you cannot worry. Kwa kama ni nabii kwa nini wasiwasi usio na wasiwasi? You cannot worry about challenge. Hauwezi kuwa na wasiwasi juu ya changamoto. We enjoy challenge. Tunafurahia changamoto because it's a prophetic word. Kwa sababu ni neno la kinabii. Yes. Ndio. Continue. Endelea. E Yerusalem, Yerusalem, wa wae manabii. When when is saying Jerusalem? Alipokuwa anasema Yerusalem. Is telling meaning the believer. Alikuwa anawaambia waamini those who believe Christ wale wanaomwamini Kristo so mean those who stand against kwa maana yake wote wanaosimama kinyume prophet na nabii apostle mitume all the work of god au kazi ya Mungu is not the non believer sio wasio amini Jerusalem those who they are born again alikuwa anasema Yerusalemu maana yake ni wale waliozaliwa mara mbili those who call themselves servant of god wale wanaojiita wenyewe watumishi wa Mungu he said Jerusalem he is telling asema Yerusalemu alisema alikuwa anasema for those who born again kwa wale waliozaliwa mara mbili kwani Yesu ameenda kuandaa nini mbinguni Yerusalemu nini kwa Yerusalemu ya kwanza iko wapi dunia ya pili iko wapi kwa Yerusalemu ya kwanza ni kwa nani wanaoisha waliofanyaje waliookoka sio hivyo nasema ayo Yerusalemu wae manabii yani wewe mwenyewe Yerusalemu unaua manabii tena Continue. Endelea. Na kuwapiga kwa mawe wale waliotumwa kwako. Mm-hmm. Ni mara ngapi nimetaka kukusanya pamoja watoto wako mm. kama vile kukwa vikusanyavyo pamoja vifaranga vyake mm. chini ya mbawa yake mm. lakini hamkutaka. Mm-hmm. Angalieni nyumba yenu imeachiwa hali ya ukiwa. Mm. Kwa maana nawaambia hamtaniona kamwe tangu sasa hata mtakaposema amebarikiwa ajaye kwa jina la Bwana. Praise God alie. Mungu asalalie. So who come in the name of the Lord? Kwa nani atakayekuja kwa jina la Bwana? The prophet is said. Nabii alisema. Prophet is said. The Lord is said. Nabii amesema. Bwana amesema. Praise God alie. Mungu asalalie. Can, can you clap again to Jesus? Naweza kumpiga Yesu makofi. Keep watching POG Family TV. Jesus Christ loves you.